What is going on, fellow Autobots and Decepticons? Welcome back to Rollout Nation. We're back with another TF5 watch, and this is uh, number 45, I believe, and we're almost there to number 50. And uh, today we're going to talk about more about the three-headed dragon that was put, found on the banner. I've already done three videos on it, and we're going to this is pretty much my fourth video now, talking about. Or is it my third video? I think it's the third video actually. This is the third video that I'm talking about the three-headed dragon and more about the banner. Because we got some more closer, we got more closer look photos of you know the dragon, and we have more speculation to go about about the dragon who could it possibly be. But um, before we start this video, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos. Thank you for all the love and support that you guys have been doing on my videos. It's very well, very very well appreciative, and I'm very happy that you guys are enjoying all my TF5 watch videos. And this pretty much will be the main thing on my channel. TF5 watch until we get to Transformers last night, and hopefully you guys will be around when Transformers 6 and 7 come around, so hopefully you guys are around when that happens, but uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much guys for watching my videos, it's very well, very well, very, very much appreciated, and uh, also, I'll be at San Diego Comic Con this year, that's right, I'll be at San Diego Comic Con only for Fridays, so if you guys um, are in the area on Friday, um, just say hi, I'll be around looking at the Hasbro and Mattel panel and all that, so if you guys are around, just say hi, so, um, but yeah, let's get down to the video for today that we're going to talk about the Dreadhead Dragon and who could it possibly be. Now, we talked about it in a, two videos back, I believe, we talked about it, about it could probably be Predaking King or it could be Scourge, so we talked about that. So today we're going to talk about maybe if it's Megatron, um, or Megatron, you know, we're still, I still don't believe 100% that it's Megatron, but I'm starting, you know, it's starting to creep, it's starting to grow on me that it could be Megatron. But yes, it could be Megatron. Now, why do we think that? Because first off, I said it in my, I even said it a long time ago in my TF5 watch, the first time that they revealed the Megatron head. It looked beast-like, because it's got, like, those tusk things, and, uh, uh, if you look at the beast, obviously, it's a very beast-like character, and it would make sense if you put two and two together, they would, you know, they would kind of work together to form this kind of robot. Beast mode would be, is, 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 uh, vehicle mode would be a beast mode, and his robot mode would be the you know, the head with the other body, but, um, I looked at it very closely, the, 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 the beast mode, the Predacon, whatever you want to call it, um, I looked at it very closely, and if you look at the ears right here, they kind of resemble the tusk of Megatron's head. You have to look at it very, very closely, but I think that that's that's what I saw because those ear pieces look different. They all look different in my opinion, and maybe they form the tusk of his head of his of Megatron's head. So uh, maybe that's maybe that's it. Um, also, this is just a this is something that's just a little bit of a dead giveaway. They're the same color. They're both gray, and um. That's pretty much it. I mean, there's not a whole lot of info to go off of. Um, I need we need to see like more photos of it. Also, it looks like I, I mentioned it in my uh, in my uh, Predaking slash Scourge speculation video, and that is uh, um, that it's it doesn't look like a complete dragon, so we can't really tell if it's a uh, who it is yet. But we can't tell if it's three head dragon or if it's just three separate dragons. But um, if you guys are wondering why would Megatron take on a beast mode, well, this is not the first time Megatron's taken on a beast mode. That happened in Beast Wars, like, three times. And it's also happened in the Robots in Disguise cartoon, the 2001 version, so. Um, that's a pretty much it. I mean, I, do I believe it could be Megatron's uh, alt mode? I would love it to be its alt mode. That would be pretty sick. Um, I feel like it could be. But again, maybe they may maybe go in the G1 route and they slash Prime route, and they might want to do the Predaking, 
Or maybe they'll go in Beast Wars route and they'll give us Megatron being the beast. But um, that's all up in the air. I don't know. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this quick video. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a input on how I feel about Megatron probably taking on a dragon mode. And uh, yeah, I had a video, uh, another video planned for today, but I don't know if I'm gonna post it. You guys, let me know. It involves me talking about characters that I really want to see in Transformers last night and characters that I don't want to see in Transformers last night. Please let me know if you want to see that video happen today or tomorrow because I'm trying to figure out if you guys will actually watch it or not. But uh, let me know if you guys want to see it. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know, do you guys think Megatron might be taking on a Dragon Mode? And if so, how, would you, how, do, how do you think that's, that Dragon Mode is his? So... Is it the ears, the eyes, what gives it away? So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We are Rollout Nation, and we always roll out. See you next time.